In this work, we present the interactive tin object selection, a technique that is designed for segmentation of objects with elongated tin parts. Interactive image segmentation refers to the task of segmenting the object of interest based on the user provided hints. Below, we show an example using foreground and background clicks to segment the dog at the bottom right. In this work, we are particularly interested in the problem of segmenting objects with tin structures, such as bicycle spoke, box legs, and blood vessels. Ensuring good segmentation quality of these tin structures has several important applications, such as image and movie editing or medical image analysis. Despite the overall good performance of existing state of the art, we found that they can hardly be applied to segment objects with tin structures, such as the chair in this example. We analyzed the MLU around tin regions, which we call IOU tin, and observed that the performance are fairly poor. We attribute its failure to the following factors. First, existing data sets used for training segmentation models are often costly annotated, where the fine grain details are ignored during the annotation process. Here we show examples of bicycles and boats where the bicycle spoke and boat stay are missing. Secondly, we notice that the distribution between tin and non-tin pixel is extremely imbalanced. Nevertheless, most segmentation models adopt a pixel cross-entropy loss and treat each pixel individually during training. As a result, misclassification of a few tin pixels would produce low cost to the overall loss, making the learning less effective. In this work, we first proposed a new dataset called Tin Object 5K with 5,743 unique foregrounds collected from the internet, where the tin parts are finely annotated and composite them on new complicated backgrounds. Secondly, we propose a simple baseline known as TOSNet. Following previous work, our TOSNet takes extreme points, which are the top, rightmost, bottom, and leftmost pixels as input. We then compute the bounding box enclosing the object and expand to include some context flow by a cropping operation. In overall, our TOSNet consists of three streams, namely a contact stream, a high resolution edge stream, and a fusion stream. For the contact stream, we resize the crop input image to a fixed resolution and pass to Deep Lab V3 Plus to produce a cross segmentation. On the other hand, the design of high resolution edge stream is motivated by the fact that the distribution between tin and non tin pixels can be better balanced when we convert the mask to edge based representation. In the example below, we can see that tin pixels occupy more than 50% when converted to edge based representation. Therefore, for the high resolution edge stream, we take both the high resolution input image as well as its image gradient as input and pass to an encoder decoder structure. Note that the encoder borrows semantic context from the context stream such that it can adopt a relatively lightweight and shallow architecture. Lastly, the fusion stream aims to combine the complementary information from the previous two streams for refinement. We employ several residual blocks for this stream. Next, we will discuss our experimental setup. We train our TOSNet on our Team Object 5K train split for 50 epochs and test on the following three testsets, including Team Object 5K test split, HISOD, and COFT. We use three different evaluation metrics, including IOU, IOU TIN, that was designed to measure the IOU around team parts, as shown on the right figure, where the grey color regions are ignored during the evaluation process. We also employ boundary app score to measure the quality of the segmented edges. We first compare our method with the state of the art. As shown in the plots below, our method significantly outperform all other methods, especially on team parts as indicated by IOUT. Next, we also perform an ablation study and show that a finely annotated dataset is essential for this task. Secondly, we can see that high resolution edge information is equally important. Next, we show some qualitative results. We also compare with matting algorithm and demonstrate comparable performance while only requiring 4 extreme clicks as input as opposed to carefully drawn trimap. In conclusion, in this work, we propose a new Tin Object 5K dataset and a simple yet effective baseline to tackle the problem of interactive Tin Object segmentation. Thank you.